voluntary suicide. I've tried my best to hide, duck, dodge, and dive, but ditches have grown shallow. Hallowed smoke swelled up and proceeded to infest my marrow. I sight temples crumble. Dead bodies are what I'm seeing. Polluted pores by a stench feels like a storm is brewing. My ruin is pursuing me, penetrating all levels of privacy. I have a tendency to build walls with my tongue. Huh. A spatula laced with flavorless bubblegum, laying fable foundations that keep everything out, including the sun. Raise them, bugs! Launch your cannons! This is what happens when cowards cower to the lowest level of fashion. Mm. Self-preservation depleted, exposing all dispositions, leaving a relentless renegade with no ammo, armor, or options. Don't flinch, cause this ain't no picnic. Then why is it that every time I feel flames of refinement, I flee? Oh. Full of fear. Fearfully guarding areas of comfortability, I hibernate my faith, believing I'm still running with the elect whilst planning my greatest escape. <laughs> Ripping up foundations and still by veterans, only to be engulfed by my indictment is frightening. The moment you realize love just buried you alive. Hmm. I bled a little, got led a little. To the floor some more, fell face plant in the middle. My hands are muddy, my heart is foggy with bloodshot eyes wide open. I'm certain this is the end of me. You ever avoided family? Rejected that cool ID? Avoided correction from the brethren as they hold you with such affection, your afflictions crumble like pastry. Listen, grace isn't grace unless it's freely given. Mm. But if we withhold such truths, we belittle the resurrection. And as my face quickens, I see him in the distance. Frailty governs my breath as every second in his presence feels like agony. I scan lines of disappointment, weighing them up with a half-measured smile. Child. Why do you withhold from me? Remove your veil and expose what ails you. Your heart burns fumes of blasphemy. Lo, Ami, why did you run from me? I called you, chose you, deployed you out into this battlefield to die hard and await my sequel. But dodge bullets deny me entry. You feel that blood trickling between your knees. That's the result of every landmine missed out of fear of losing a mere limb. You aborted the mission. Oh. Conceived death and miscarried the great commission. Beloved, whose cup did you sit from? Which unsavory guide led you to fear creation? Picked your honey-soaked lips and betray me with a kiss. Brutus, your Judas, precious Lazarus, I raised you better. Mm. The harvest has now become a hazard, <laughs> hasn't it? Mm. Be honest. You've ostracized your ostrich and fled the servant sarcophagus, foolish. Mm. Your morality must die in order for grace to rise. And dead men don't struggle, so you better run from your eyes. Christ for anesthesia take you further from the truth that without me there is no proof. So believe me when I say that it's not about you. But I loved you enough to pursue. To invite you to sip from my cup. To sup at my table. Are you able? Offering yourself up to be made an example because them canes will always leave scars. But stretch marks make beautiful art. Mm. So you can keep your seeds and your nets. Tonight I'm casting out caskets. It's cool. You'll only be there for a minute. Please stay in your crucibles. They only make you bulletproof. To pick up Lay down. Simon says turn around, repent, and remain transparent. This tent is only temporary. Beloved, 
We have the ability, under his authority, to change climates with our attitudes, mm. bearing sanctified fruit. Mm. So season your areas of influence, light your incense and let it be common. Put your shoes back on, this is not your home. Mm -hmm. And keep this promise on your tongue. Rejoice. For these troubles are but for a moment. Mm. Yeah.